Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the City of Cape Coral Planning and Zoning Commission. Today is Wednesday, November 3rd, 2021. We will have a moment of silence, and then we'll stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's not moving. Madam City Clerk, will you please call the roll? Yes, Chair. Before I call the roll, I would like to announce that Member O'Connor has requested to be excused, and I will mark him so. Apking? Here. Benny? Marker? Here. Reed? Here. Safranich? Here. Summers? Here. Fioretti? Here. York? Here. Seven present, one excused, one absent. Let the record show that Commissioner Benny has arrived? Yes, Chair. Uh, first of all, I'd like to welcome three new members of our board. Commissioners Apking, oops, um, where was it? Uh, Commissioner Fiorelli and Commissioner York. Welcome, glad to have you. First, I'd like to go into our minutes from October 6th. Do we have a review, any questions or a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Yep. We have a motion for approval by Commissioner uh, Marker and a second by Commissioner Apking, correct? Yep. I'll get them all straight, but in six months, maybe. <laughs> Madam City Clerk, will you please call the vote? Yes, Chair. Apking? Yay. Benny? Yes. Marker? Aye. Reed? Aye. Safranich? Aye. Summers? Aye. Fioretti? Yes. All ayes, motion carries. Thank you. Good. City Attorney, please call the first ordinance 90-21. Ordinance 90-21, an ordinance amending the City of Cape Coral Comprehensive Plan by amending the future land use map from multifamily residential to single family residential land use for property described as lots 1 through 58, block 4186, and tract A, Block 4186A, all in Unit 59, Cape Coral Subdivision. Amending the future land use map from single family multifamily to single family residential land use for property described as lots 1 through 40, Block 4191, Unit 59, Cape Coral Subdivision. The property is located southwest of the intersection of Tropicana Park White West and Northwest 33rd Avenue, providing severability and an effective date. Thank you. Commander Wyatt. <clears throat> Good morning. For the record, Wyatt Daltrey, playing teen coordinator with the city's planning division. My credentials may be obtained at the city clerk's office. What we have before you today is Ordinance 90-21. Uh, again, the city uh, initiated future land use map amendments involving 30.76 acres for blocks 4186, 4186A, and 4191. Uh, the request is to amend the future land use from multifamily residential to single family residential and as mentioned uh, in, in the recit in recitation of the ordinance from single family multifamily to single family residential. The area is bounded by Northwest 36th Avenue to the west, Northwest 33rd Avenue to the east, Northwest 7th Terrace to the north and Northwest 6th Terrace to the south. Uh, area is located in northwestern Cape Coral, uh, multiple properties, um, which, uh, the addresses you can see here all along Northwest 6th Street, 6th Terrace, Northwest 7th Terrace, Northwest uh, 33rd Avenue. This is an aerial of the subject properties. As you can see, it involves a rather large, roughly 20-acre block under city ownership. Some platted lots along Northwest 6th Street and six terrace. And then these platted lots that run three sides of a tract, which is also owned by the city that as a platted park. We are not looking to change this platted park here, but all these areas. Um, this 
The map to the left uh, shows uh, the request. As you can see, the, most of the area in question is multifamily residentials indicated in brown, roughly about two thirds to three quarters of the site is multifamily. The remainder be changes in this off white color, the single family, multifamily designation. The map on the right shows what would be the, uh, the, the proposed land use uh, and the land use if adopted by council, basically changing everything to single family residentials indicated in yellow. Background uh, of the area in question, as you saw in the map series, it's northwestern Cape Coral, consists of 41 properties. 14 of those 41 properties are developed with single family residences, not a multifamily property or, or structure among those developed properties. Uh, two thirds of the properties have an inconsistent future land use and zoning, basically multifamily land use and R1, which is single family zoning. Uh, this is something we are dedicated to, to fixing. Uh, this also includes that 19 acre large city owned tract. Uh, now there's been no future plans uh, or identified use of that tract. So uh, changing it to single family at this point is, is viewed as appropriate at this time. Now we had looked at our comprehensive plan uh, in, in evaluating this land use amendment. The existing multifamily designation is inconsistent, we feel, with the multifamily residential siting criteria as identified in policy 1.7 of the future land use element. That policy has four basically guidelines uh, to determine uh, appropriate siting of multifamily uh, residential uses. Uh, through our analysis, we felt, we, we, we discovered that the multifamily partially met one of those guidelines and failed to meet the other three. So clearly, you know, we, we feel that multifamily is not appropriate for those, for those areas. Uh, the request to change this area to single family residential is consistent with objective eight of the future land use element, which says the city shall prohibit land uses incompatible or inconsistent with the future land use map. As I mentioned before, about two thirds of those properties have a multifamily land use and a single family zoning, they need to match up basically, uh, which, is, which is what would occur if the proposal to single family residential is adopted. So to conclude, uh, multifamily residential future land use and single family zoning are inconsistent on blocks 4186 and 4186A. 14 of the 41 properties are developed with single family residences, no existing duplexes or other multifamily residential are identified. City owns a large tract. Uh, this actually came to our attention, actually from two routes, one from the Northwest Neighborhood Association, and there's a property owner living just south of these subject properties, which brought this to our attention. Earlier this year, uh, as you're aware, uh, staff's been dealing with some, uh, some other uh, projects, but now time was ripe to bring this forward to you for consideration. Uh, and again, analysis of policy 1.7 future land use um, indicates that this is a weak candidate for multifamily residential development. Staff recommends approval uh, we've, uh, in that this amendment is consistent with a comprehensive plan. We've received no public correspondence vis-a-vis -vis, um, letters or emails, and I'll stand by if you have any questions. Thank you, Wyatt. The city is the applicant. This is a public hearing. Does anyone from the public wish to speak on this case? Seeing none, back to commission. Commissioners, questions? Motions? Commissioner Ferretti? Yeah, just one question. Well, I'd like to confirm that all proper notice was given and sign, proper signs were posted uh, on this? Correct. Uh, basically, uh, we actually use three, um, it's a three tier network of providing notice. Letters uh, to affected property owners and property owners within 500 feet of the subject area. Uh, posting of signs, I believe we posted four, one at each corner of the area in question. And lastly, notice was provided in the newspaper of record, that being the Fort Myers News Press. Thank you. Thank you. We have a motion for approval by Commissioner Summers. Do you have a second? Second. We have a second, second by Commissioner Atkin. Madam City Clerk, will you please call the vote? Yes, Chair. Apking? Aye. Benny? Aye. Marker? Aye. Reed? Aye. Safranek? Aye. Summers? Aye. 
Be ready. Aye. All ayes. Motion carried. Thank you. Let's see, uh, open this for citizens' input. Anyone from the public wish to speak about any matter? <laughs> You're welcome. So I'm going to close citizens' input. Do we have any staff updates? Uh, staff has no updates for the, for the commission. Other business comments from any of the members? Nope. Welcome to our new commission. Yes. Date and time of our next meeting is December 1st, 2021. Hereby adjourned.